How is God going to change us? It is not merely by external discipline. How else does He change us? Look in verse 26. This is one of the most, if not the greatest, illustration and example of what it means to be born again. This is a phenomenal illustration. Now, before we go to it, let's step back and look at something. In America, being born again or the doctrine of regeneration has been totally and completely lost. Regeneration is the supernatural work of God whereby by the Spirit of God He recreates a man. If anyone be in Christ, he is a new creature. Do you see that? The Bible says that God created the world ex nihilo or out of nothing. I believe that there is more power of God manifested in the conversion of a man than in the very creation of the universe. Because as I said, He created the universe ex nihilo, out of nothing. But when He recreates a man and makes him a Christian, He takes a mass of radically depraved corruption and turns it into a new creature who will love Him. So many people today, I've been born again, they say. And you ask them, what do you mean by that? Well, I made my decision. I prayed that prayer. I asked Jesus to come into my heart. Yes, but has your heart changed? Has your life changed? Is it changing? Are you a new creature? Or someone who just repeated a creed and passed through a ritual? The evidence that you are truly converted is not that one time in your life you prayed a prayer and asked Jesus to come in. The evidence that you are converted is that one time in your life you repented of your sins and you continue repenting today. The evidence that you're saved is one time you believed unto salvation and you continue believing today. The evidence that you're converted is that one time God began a good work in you and He continues working in you today. Changing your life. Transforming you by His power. Look what He says here. He says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh. Now let's say that I take the biggest man in this building right now and I bring him up here and I make a stone statue out of him. And here he is, just a statue of stone. I can punch him. I can pinch him. I can kick him, I can insult him, I can do all kinds of things to him, and what is he going to do? Absolutely nothing. He's stone. He's dead. He's inanimate. He is unable to respond to stimuli. But what if I can snap my fingers and change that stone statue back into a man, a man of flesh? If I pinch him, He's probably going to react and then punch me. If I kick him, he's going to kick me back. Do you see? I don't care how big you are or how strong you here to, are here tonight. If I reach up behind you and get you under the arm like this and pinch you with all my might, you are going to react. You are going to respond to that stimuli. And that is what God is saying. In the supernatural work of salvation, this is what God does when a man is born again. He takes out his heart of stone, a heart that is dead, a heart that cannot hear God, cannot respond to God, and what it knows about God, it hates. And by the power of the Holy Spirit hovering over that man, just like on the day of creation, God changes that man's heart from a heart of stone that is dead and cannot respond to a heart of flesh that is living and alive and can respond to divine stimuli. Now let me ask you a question. Has God done that to your heart? Has God done that to your heart? Can you remember a time in your life where you were just dead to God? You didn't care about God. You didn't care about His Word. You didn't care about sin. You didn't care about His voice, hearing Him, obeying Him, following Him, nothing. But then one day everything changed. 